Greetings from your state capital here in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm Bill Clark, the political director for the Georgia Trial Lawyers Association. Welcome to your second video blog, our effort to keep you informed of what's going on here at the Capitol during the 2012 legislative session. I'm joined today by GTLA President Jeff Pope. And Jeff and I want to talk to you about a way, ways that members of our association can get involved in our political efforts. And I want to bring you up to date on a few of the hot topics of this week. Today marks the uh, end of the second week of the legislative session. We now have nine days officially in the books of this session, and we have 31 days to go. Uh, today, Jeff wants to tell you why he's involved in our political efforts at GTLA and how you can be involved. Um, Jeff is our current president. He is a native of Amer America's Georgia. He is a double dog, having gone to the University of Georgia both for undergrad and for law school and practices now here in Atlanta with the law firm of Pope and Howard. Jeff, you've been involved in GTLA's political efforts throughout your career as a plaintiff's lawyer. Uh, why have you chosen to be involved in our efforts that way? That, that's a question that you could, I could spend a lot of time talking about. There's so many reasons to become involved. And one of them that I think is so important is every day at the Capitol, there are a myriad of bills that are introduced, that are discussed, that are voted on by the full body or by a, a committee that could have dramatic impacts on the rights of Georgia citizens, on the rights of our clients. And often, the, all, the, all it would take would be a, a minor change to move that bill from being horribly destructive to, to actually accomplishing the legislator's purpose without significantly hurting the rights of Georgia citizens. And so I think that the more you can get to know legislators, the more you can work with them, and, and they're willing to work with you and educate legislators. And I think I've found that that is something that is only available when you get to know your legislator. It's, it's really, it's hard if you're just a random person uh, down the street, but if, if they know you, then they're likely to listen to you. And I've, I've found that to be one of the most gratifying aspects of it. Jeff, could you tell our members what are some good ways that they can get involved in our political and legislative efforts? Well, let me tell you, the, the, the one thing I think everyone can do right now is sign up for the Lawyer of the Day program. It is a fantastic program. The folks that did it last year absolutely loved it. They got to see committee hearings, got to see uh, see how things work at the Capitol, watch the lobbyists operate. Um, and, and, and what I think is so powerful about it to the legislators is it makes a big impression when they see someone from their district at the Capitol on a Tuesday when there's not a hot button legal issue. What it tells the legislators is this person cares about what happens here and this person's watching me. And the other thing is, is if you don't know your legislator, it's a great way to get to know them. Because I've found that legislators want to get to know the lawyers in their district. They, they, they're strategic. They think, they think strategically. And they, whether you realize it or not, they want to get to know you, just like they want to get to know other people in their district that may play a role in their reelection efforts. And so it's just a great opportunity. And I'd sign up for lawyer of the day. I think that's the best thing everybody can do right now. One of the things we find is that legislators try to help their constituents in a lot of ways, and many of the problems that their constituents have are in fact legal problems, and they need a lawyer, not necessarily a GTLA member, but someone that you could refer them to and help them. You help a constituent, that legislator will remember you when it comes time to vote on an issue important to your client's rights and your practice. Let me cut now to uh, some of the hot topics uh, that we dealt with here in the Capitol this week and uh, bring you up to speed on those as to what has happened and what we anticipate happening next week. One of the bills that was heard in committee this week is House Bill 121, sponsored by GTLA member and State Representative Doug McKillop of Athens, Georgia. This bill would prohibit insurance companies from having discretionary clauses in the contract. Those clauses basically overrule normal contract law that says any ambiguity in a contract will be construed against the interest of the drafter of the contract. That clause has been banned in many states. We want to ban it here so that our citizens aren't held hostage by their insurance companies. That bill heard a, had a hearing this week. We'll have another hearing next week, and we anticipate it to pass out of the committee. A second bill that may be helpful to members uh, of GTLA and certainly to the people of Georgia 
is uh, House Bill 685, the so-called dog bite bill. And this bill will uh, add regulations to the ownership of potentially dangerous dogs. Most importantly, this bill will eliminate the one free bite rule so that persons who are bitten by a dog and significantly harmed will have recourse the first time, not necessarily just on the, on the second time. There are two other bills that uh, aren't necessarily going to be helpful and we are going to be watching them closely. One would change the service of process rules for corporate defendants and one would change the way juries can reduce future damages to present value. On both of those bills we are going to be working with the sponsors, uh, alerting them to our concerns uh, so that they can take those concerns into consideration and perhaps either not move the bills or to address our concerns in their bills. That's all we have today. Jeff Pope, thank you for being with us. Thank you for tuning in. And remember, you can follow us at gtla.org. And we look forward to seeing you under the Gold Dome. Thank you, Bill. And thank you to the entire lobbying team for all that you do for us down here.